Thank you for joining us again. This is Paul Wilson. And Chris Hemke. And you're listening to the Diesel Performance Podcast live at Ultimate Call Out Challenge 2018, located here in Brownsburg, Indiana. Stop slapping my shoulder. I'm paying attention to you. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm watching the trucks line up for the dyno event. So Yeah, who's coming off right now? I can't see that far. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Uh, so an unknown truck is just off the dyno. A couple it's others lined up. Not an unknown truck, but I just don't know the name. I just can't see that far, to be they honest. They have RevMax but, uh, coming up soon. They, uh, you know, when we talked to Frank, yep, right? Frank from, from Rev RevMax, yep, two-wheel drive. claiming some pretty big numbers. I'm a little bitter with that truck. So when I had my 07, uh, I had a Cummins Forum build, you know, the owner over at Calibrated Nick wanted me to do it. And that's right when Frank bought that. So we had the trucks right around the same time. And his is, you know, 14, 1500 horse, and mine gets sold and fucking his is total. still together and running yeah. and looks badass, and yours is just a memory. Yeah. Paul, you're going to be a memory, so <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> up. But yeah, no, so it's like, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for the truck. I'm excited to see what it does. So, yeah. Yeah, big day, big day, absolutely. And uh, we grabbed Mike Moss. Mike, how the hell are you? I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing great. Now, Mike, now you're here just as a fan, just somebody who wanted to come and actually see the event. Yeah, I'm a spectator. This is our first year down here. We bought me and four other guys down and come down and check it out. What do you think so far? It's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> you got horsepower and drag racing and all kinds of fun stuff. It's good to see. And the expo, everything. Like, yep. this, is, this is the one-stop diesel shop right now, you know, to say it. the least. So. Yeah, we were down at the HSP booth. The guys down at HSP treat me really good on all my stuff, and them guys are good guys, and we've been hanging out with them. And I met uh, Mark from Danville and met all kinds of cool people down here, talked to Dimitri Millard. So all kinds of neat people down here in the industry yeah. that I haven't met and you know of, but you've sure. never seen them before. You know, Read about so them in the magazines, yep. see them online. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, so. that's awesome, man. Uh, now, you have quite a bit of drag racing experience yourself. Uh, I used to drag race gas. Pick, I got an S10 that I drag raced, and we got a Duramax put together last year that makes some pretty good power. And we've only had it down the track one time with some traction issues, but we're working through some bugs and trying to get a training figured out, and then we should be good to go. We're going to see if we can make some passes on it this year. Sure. Can pretty you cool. walk us through the build? What do you got for your turbos in that thing? Um, we did uh, hooked up with HSP, and they did a SXE369 and a SXE485 on top with a set of 150% over X. Strategies or uh, SNS injectors, and uh, the truck did really well down at Shide. We dynoed uh, top fuel numbers both days on Friday and Saturday. It made 1244-2193 at the end of the weekend. So that's Ooh. awesome. Okay, still a street truck, or yep, is it just a truck? It's my parts truck for running parts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, why'd you get into it? Why uh, why build up a 1,400 horsepower, 1,200 horsepower truck for, for a shop truck? It was actually an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, started on the truck, and I was looking for a regular cab, and I looked for a truck for three years. I found the truck pretty reasonable. I paid six grand for it. I had a 300,000-mile truck, and I had 275 on it when I bought it, and I seen potential, and it was a good-looking truck. I did some updates and some upgrades that I wanted, and... We were intending on doing just a, I bought a 475 over stock kit and I had it sitting on the shelf and I thought, well, this is going to be a fun time. And then I started doing some numbers and I'm like, this just ain't going to do what I wanted to do. So our goal was a thousand horse and we uh, started from there and got everything going and uh, made uh, about 600 miles and wrecked a set of factory heads. And then I got a hold <laughs> no. of, uh, it had 100% over SNSs in it then. And as soon as the factory heads cracked, I'm like, well, let's go a little bit bigger. So we bought a set of Street Series Wagler heads and put them on, and it went to 150s. And we loaded the tuning in uh, 10 minutes before we went down to Shide. And <laughs> I, drove it, I drove it to town and back to put some fuel in it. We went down to Shide, and it was a really good weekend. We did really good down there. And that's, that's awesome. it. Awesome. Now, you said you're working through a few bugs on it right now? Um, transmission issues. We've had some transmission failures. Um, I did. Uh, I had a buddy of mine do the training the first time, and it failed in about 3,000 miles. And <laughs> then I had Dimitri Miller go through it, and we got something going on with the case. So he's going to take care of us after this weekend, and we're going to no We're going to head out to no zone, and he's going to tear another case apart and do another training for us. So Wow. Training shifts great, runs great, works great, but it will not hold power. As soon really? as the turbos are lit, it just powers right through. So we got an issue in the tranny, and Dimitri's going to take care of that for us, and we'll get it, get it done. Cool, man. It just what goes to show, you know, you deal with a lot of the guys that are experts in the industry, and things still do arise. You know, you're like guys that will call in like oh i have this i have this i have this it's just not running right well it might be this no no no. you don't understand i paid this much money i have this done it's not that <laughs> well there is a problem you know yep. and issues do arise well he's been super solid with me i mean yep. he's not he doesn't he's not one of them guys that just said well tough bounce you know this yep, is right. it's it's big power tough bounce he just he's working with me on it and we just got a couple bugs to work through and out of the things i thought would have 
broke, that wasn't it. You're right. No. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't. It's always going to be something, though. Right. I didn't realize getting into the, getting into this game, and it is a game. You know that once you get to that point, that there's things that break you you wouldn't yeah. expect to break. Absolutely. You know, I'm running a motor on a stock crank and a stock block. Yeah. And it makes 1,200 horse, and it ain't Ooh, broke. No. The tranny is broken. I wrecked the heads on it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you know, so it's a learning curve, yeah. and we're just getting going. So we're going to try and... Uh, we're going to try and do bigger things. Awesome. What's uh, been your best pass in the truck? Um, it ran a really poor pass down and through the eighth mile. It ran 770, but it picked up uh, It picked up pretty good. It ran through at 104. Oh, so wow. Okay. It was it was burning the tires through the 60-foot mark in four-wheel drive. So it wasn't very good, but at, if you can cross the traps at 104 smoking the tires, it's doing all right. Yeah, no shit, right? She's got some top end to so, her. So, yeah, it's it's super fun. It's it's an excellent street truck. It's super fun to drive clean. It lights now. Um, compounds work great. Um, like I said, it's I it's everything I wanted, and you know more as of where the parts failures come from. <laughs> <laughs> How is it uh, as far as the driver goes? Quick spooling. Quick um, spooling, absolutely. It, it drives, I would say, probably better than stock. Really, super clean. Um, it smokes just a little bit once you get after it, but once the thing's lit, super clean. We've seen some dyno pulls and stuff on it. You get it on a dyno, and it'll. It'll throw some smoke at first, and then after that, then it'll clean right up. And I mean, the end of the pull's super clean, no smoke. Um, Mark does a, just a knockout job on the tuning on it. He's retuned the truck twice, and now we uh, took the DSP5 switching off of it. So it's on a big tune. There is no switching on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the shop truck is only on the big tune. Yep, it's, and it's only a 1,200 horsepower. And it just gets parts. Right. Yeah, and we get parts with it. So it's it's basically when it's working, I drive it everywhere. I, it's, I, don't, I don't ever opt for anything else. And <laughs> when you get in a regular cabin, I mean, the truck's actually here, but it's broken, but you sit in it. I mean, you sit in the seats, and the interior just, it kind of feels like a cockpit, and you're just, you're just at home with it, you know? And I, I like the truck a lot, and it's just kind of progressing, and we're just trying to get the stuff put together so it holds. I love that. <laughs> um, what's, what's in the future for you? Um, I don't know. I kind of look at this stuff, and I, don't, I know we're not there now. I don't know if we're ever going to be there. It's, I'm kind of dedicating it more to my own personal driver, this is fun. I just don't know if I'm I'm ready to step up to that game yet. Yeah, you know, the qualifier bracket is obviously new this year. Yeah, uh, that, that's never been there before. I definitely see it as being a staple. I think this will be a, a long term part of of the competition where anybody like the qualifier brackets mostly made up out of people who are just passionate enthusiasts, right. guys like you yep, who yep. got started with a with a plan and then that plan yeah. changed and then all of a sudden they have this high horsepower truck and <laughs> they're looking around at themselves like well who else has a high horsepower truck you should hang out like let's be friends right and right. then it turns into this um but sled pulling is i think what what might scare a lot of guys out of the qualifier bracket i have uh, we do a little bit of pickup pulling around home where i'm at from we're from minnesota and i actually have a truck that we put together for pickup pulling so i know both ends of it so I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I mean, it's not definitely that the truck couldn't get set up for it. But like I said, my truck is, you know, 800 to, you know, 1,500 horse shy of everybody around here. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, well, the competitors. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I mean, it, the qualifier bracket broke 2,000. Yeah. Yep. Pain. Um, and then, but I, I think as you look down that list of 27 competitors, there's a lot of guys who were... You know, in your horsepower range. Yeah, there was a couple of guys I've seen for the qualifiers that weren't where we are. And, and every dyno is probably going to be a little bit different. Sure. I know we, we dyno down at Shide, and everybody claimed that that's one of the most accurate dynos around was the Dan's Diesel dyno. And we we dyno down there, and like I said, you know, we were on the same playing field. Everybody else had the same opportunity I had down there. And yeah. for us to go down there and do what we did, I think we're doing pretty good. We'd been only in the business for about a year and a half, and... So we're we're making you know steps. We're getting there. So sure. I'm just not sure if the truck's going to go any bigger or not. I'm just kind of if there's a catastrophic failure, then we'll probably throw a, a good crank in it and do a different block. And then if that is the case and we got a good bottom end and everything's going to handle it, then we'll talk to the boys at HSP and we will go bigger. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. Um, anybody you're really excited to see compete this weekend? Anybody you're you really got the eyes on? Um, I'm a Duramax guy at heart. I love the coming stuff, though. Um, when Fire Punk comes out here and just keeps ripping off passes and making <laughs> huge power, I don't discount them guys at all, you know. Um, 
they they do good. I know uh, Jags is from Minnesota, and they're local to us too. And they seem like they're doing pretty good. I hope they get their truck put back together again. Yeah, yeah. it'll be good to watch them compete. You know, you always got to root for the hometown guys. You said it, man. Yeah, we just talked to Josh. He said he's trying. Yep, he I hope they trying. get her back together again, and I hope they make some make some good times and get everything done. So, awesome. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? Oh, I don't know. Joel Cucci, um, Ryan from HSP. Them guys. Them guys are the bomb. They always do very well with me. Um, I guess without them, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at. I mean, they've done a stellar job. Their their kits are top notch. Um, S and S does a good job. I mean, they, all the parts guys that I've always had stuff with, they always do great. Um, you they know, always come through for you. That's yeah, awesome. they always come through through me, and they, you know, I got their private numbers, and if I got an issue, I call them. And say, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And they always take care of me. Like I said, Dimitri Miller, he's gonna take care of the tranny and. Once you get everything put together, I think it'll be I think it'll be a pretty good piece. You know, like I said, I don't think we're going to compete here, but on compared to the, some of the qualifiers, we'd have been right in there with some of the qualifiers. Sure. You know, I mean, I think the truck should run tens fairly easy. You know, with the weight, it's sixty four sixty. So I mean, it's right in there with weight and the power numbers there. I mean, it's they're definitely a learning curve with getting it to drag race, but All right. we're starting early. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're we're just getting in the game, so. We can only go up from here. Well, I got a feeling we're going to be seeing you back here at this event, maybe 2020 or something like that. Uh, <laughs> and I'm excited for it, Mike. I want to see you competing with this truck. Well, I, it would be, I would be more than willing to throw it on a dyno if there was a tranny in it right now. I mean, <laughs> I, I'd like to see what it throws down here as a comparable dyno compared to what it did before. Sure. And the numbers that we had down at Chide actually were kind of misleading too because it actually had a blown exhaust manifold gasket. Oh, wow. So the numbers could have actually been better. And Mark has turned, tuned it up since then. So it's got a bigger tune in it than then. Yeah. So he, when we took the serial switching off of it and put just a single tune in it, he turned it up. So <laughs> because uh, Ryan, Ryan from HSP, I deal with a lot, a lot with them guys, and they run through my tuning and stuff. And he's like, I said, well, we got to take the serial switching off so we can do some data logging. And he's like, all right, well, I'll take care of it. And I got in the truck, and I'm like, hey, uh, what'd you guys do to this thing? It seems like it's got a lot more power. And Ryan <laughs> says, uh, I had him turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see what the numbers make now compared to what it did then. I mean, yeah. it, it did very well then. So I think we're going to try and see if we can put it together and get it back down to shite again this year. Cool, and man. Just see how it does. You know? Well, we're, we're excited. We definitely uh, want to check it out and see what goes on with it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and taking out some time for our listeners. This has been Paul Wilson. And Chris Emke. Thank you very much for your time. This is Mike Moss and with Dark Horse Diesel and Everybody have a good weekend.